everyone. In today's episode, it will be an unboxing and initial tour of the Ender Tree uh, from Creality. This is not a sponsored video. I actually pay for the goods, but I'd like to thank uh, Smarty Store, which did the utmost to get me a kit um, as soon as possible. Uh, this is still in the pre-order phase at the time of recording of the video. Uh, and they actually managed to discuss and uh, ship directly from Creality to my place uh, the, um, the printers. So I'd like to thanks and I give them a thumbs up for uh, being responsive on the, um, the chat. Uh, and I would like to leave a, a link on the description down below. Welcome back. It's been a few days. Uh, we've been actually testing, I've been testing the end of tree uh, printers that I received a week, four days ago. Uh, and I'm extremely, extremely happy with the, uh, the quality uh, without too much tweaking. Uh, in fact, I haven't done any modification yet. Um, I will just give you my initial toe. Uh, and if you like, uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, and I will do a follow-up video as I'm planning to do some change on the printers such as a firmware upgrade uh, putting Marlin on it uh, I know that the printers is not coming with the bootloader so USB ASP will be required over there uh, I'm planning to do actually a, a, a guide and a follow-up video on this the printers has been printing every day um, the initial print were the dog that come on the SD card I'm I was very impressed with the layers. I decided then to move ahead and print the uh, tool holders. And then I decided to print a case for the uh, Raspberry for the Octopi, which I um, still don't have, unfortunately, a great success. Octopi seems to be not stable for me. Uh, somehow, this print failed. Uh, and I will explain why I print the case twice. I've noticed that the hole, my circle, was not a circle. I will put the pictures fixed by having two uh, check done. Uh, the belt, one of the belt was not tied enough, tied up the belt. And also, I didn't like the strand that were put by this carriage on the z-axis so I decided to remove it uh, I know some of you has been doing it previously as well uh, I was not able to keep um, a bed leveled properly and I believe this was causing the issue since I removed this piece uh, I'm now not having any issue this is the latest print that I print it's not a huge piece but still uh, I'm confident enough to say that my bed level issue was actually down to uh, this uh, carriage. Uh, you need to make sure that your cable is zip tied together. Uh, and I actually print something very neat, no support required. This is like some clip that goes to the frame and, uh, and you clip it like so. 
two cables stay in place which is very important in this case otherwise your bed might actually uh, grab the cables. I will put on the description the a start and a hand uh, script that been provided by one of the guys on Facebook which is uh, Hans. Um, if you test it please let me know on the comment to announce that we are now recording in 4k uh, I'm extremely happy with the camera. It's the uh, Lumix G80. Uh, the previous one was getting old and I couldn't actually do some B-roll, the B-roll that you've seen actually on the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share, like and comment. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm wishing on the episode for the next one that we have more engagement together. Um, I need to build the community around uh, the channel and I'm hoping that you guys can help me out. So uh, I thank you for um, being here. Uh, I'll see you on the next week project. Bye.